When I think about the square root of 25, fortunately that's a perfect square and I don't need to think about it very much. But y to the fifth is y to the fourth times y. So when I square root this 25, that's 5. When I square root y to the fourth, that's y squared. And then the square root of y is still there. 32, I think about the biggest perfect square that goes into 32. Thinking about my list of perfect squares, which one of these numbers is a factor of 32? Well, 4 is, but 16 is as well. So I'm going to rewrite this as 16 times 2. And then aren't I lucky that a to the 24th is an even number and b to the 6th is an even number? The square root of 16 is 4. Then we have a to the 12th. Then we have b cubed. I square rooted this, I square rooted this, I square rooted this, and there's a root 2 left over. One more try. What is the biggest perfect square that is a factor of 500? That's 5 times 100. Then we have a p. q to the 11th is q to the 10th times q. Now I could split this up into q to the 5th times q to the 5th for instructional purposes, the way I did it with these two. But if you know it's an even numbered exponent as a perfect square, it's okay to do it like this. What can we square root? Well, I can square root 100. That's 10. I can square root q to the 10th. That's q to the 5th. Everything else is not a perfect square. 5p q. How would you summarize the process for simplifying a variable under a radical? Again, what you're doing is you are looking for the perfect square underneath the radical. Some kind of perfect square, and then there's going to be some other expression there. Now, it's a, if it's a variable, you want something to an even numbered exponent. And then you can square root this and whatever that even numbered exponent is, remember that even numbered exponent square rooting is the same as raising to the one half power. So you're just taking half of that even numbered exponent and putting it on the outside of the radical. And then that other number is still going to be left underneath the radical sign. Please don't just copy down what we have written here. Please write out in words and describe the process of simplifying a variable underneath a radical the way you do it in your own words in your own head.